Yeah. Thanks, Jake. There's a meeting today about the next steps in trying to bring Paul Whelan home. Are you part of that meeting? What can you tell us about that meeting? And the State Department said today that the U.S. is going to be creative in finding ways to get Paul Whelan released. What does that mean? So uh, members of my team and the State Department met with uh, Elizabeth Whelan this morning virtually uh, over Zoom. I wasn't a part of it today, although I did participate in the conversation the President had with Elizabeth a few days ago where they too were brainstorming and talking through ideas um, about how to go forward. Um, you'll understand that I can't get into the specifics of the kinds of things that we are contemplating to try to ensure that we get Paul home as soon as we can. I will just say that the conversations with Paul Whelan's family have been substantive. Um, they have had a number of very good questions and also a number of suggestions that they've put forward and we have been working to figure out what it is going to take to ultimately secure his freedom and how we can go about getting that um, and being able to sit down with the Russians and work out a deal. Um, the specifics of that are something that really have to be kept uh, in the sensitive channels, the sensitive conversations we have with the Whelan family and then the sensitive channels that we have with the Russian government. But we are bound and determined to ensure uh, that we uh, work through a successful method of securing Paul Whelan's release at the earliest possible opportunity. If the U.S. doesn't have a prisoner in custody that Russia would be willing to make a trade for, what else could you do? Is there a policy that the U.S. would be willing to change in order to get Russia to accept some kind of a deal? I, I can't really answer a question as general as that. I mean, if the implication is, are we going to take a different approach to Ukraine or something like that, the answer is no, we're not going to take a different approach to Ukraine. Um, we believe that there are uh, plays that we can continue to try to run, things that we have had in motion that we are still working on um, that, that could potentially lead to a positive result here. Uh, again, because of the sensitivity of these issues, I don't want to go into detail on them, but we are going to keep working at this. The big challenge we had over the course of the past several months is that what Russia was asking for to secure Paul Whelan's release was not something that we had to be able to give. That is a problem we are trying to solve. We have various ways that we are uh, working through solutions, and we will be endeavoring on a daily basis from the President on down to finally develop a formula that works. And that's as far as I can go today, but I will just reinforce that our commitment to this is absolutely rock solid, intense, and this is as high a priority as the President has. Yeah. To, to follow on that, because the administration has said that this deal to get Greiner home was one or none. So if you're saying that what the Russians were asking for, for Wieland to come home, uh, that it, was there ever a push by the United States for that one to be Whelan, not Greiner, in exchange for Victor Bowie. As the President said uh, when he announced Brittany Greiner's release, for totally illegitimate reasons, the Russians treat Paul Whelan's case differently, and so their demands related to Paul Whelan are different from their demands from other Americans, to include, for example, Trevor Reed, who we were able to secure his release earlier this year, even as Brittany Griner remained in custody in Russia. And similarly, they treat his case differently from Brittany Griner's case. That creates a different challenge for us in terms of what it will take to get uh, Paul Whelan home. But it is a challenge that we believe we are up to. We are going to figure out a way to do it, and that is just going to require us to come up with uh, the right formula, as I said before, to be able to present uh, to the Russian Federation to secure his release. We're determined to figure out how to do that. That is what we were working on. That was the subject and substance of the conversation with Paul Whelan's family today, and that will be the work ahead. And if I can do a follow-up on, on Griner, can you give us an update on her condition? Uh, when do you expect that she might be departing for Sam Houston in Texas? And has the President spoken with her or her family since she's gotten back? So I would uh, defer to the State Department officials who are working closely with her at Fort Sam Houston for an update on her condition or directly to her or her family. I, I don't want to speak to that. Um, the reports we have indicate that she is in good spirits and, and that 
Uh, she is in good condition, but again, I cannot speak authoritatively to it, nor can I speak authoritatively to when she will depart, because ultimately it's up to her how she wants to go through this transition uh, from having been in confinement and in a harrowing circumstance over the course of the past several months back into her, her life here in the United States. So that would be up to her. The President has not had a chance to speak with uh, Brittany again uh, since he spoke with her shortly after her release. Uh, but he's, of course, following her case very closely and continuing to pray for her, for Sherelle, and for the entire Griner family that, that she have this opportunity and this space to heal as she comes back from this awful uh, situation that she found herself in in Russia.